these dogs have 25 acres to play with. And every time we're at the, at the fence line, they gotta play in the street, of all places. So what we're we gonna do? We're gonna fix that problem today and make this a dog-proof fence. here is glass so it's a little bit more heavier than the plastic ones and then we've got in here it's got one little small LED light and then it's got the on off switch and it's got a rechargeable battery in here and we this is by the brand Patriot Lighting and uh, we got them at Menards but I've seen them sold at Amazon and some other places too and basically instead of drilling a deep deep hole into the um, wood that could cause it to possibly rot, let water in and allow it to rot and everything. We're just taking the post off and drilling a deep enough hole to set this in then we're going to get like hard as nails or something because essentially all we have to do is just change out this part right here. This is just glass and plastic and a reflective part at the bottom to help the light emit. So if we were to have to replace these in the future, we just have to replace the tops. So we're going to just use some hard as nails or something to secure it into the top of the post here and then set it down inside and then just replace this. So let's go see how it's going. And did I mention they have a solar panel on top? Get out of the street. Come on. are properly installed and I can't see because the sun is in my eyes and now all we have to do is just wait for dark let them charge up in the sun today and wait for dark and see how they turned out to be. Today is fence day yay I've been wanting to do this for about a month or two uh, the dogs are always, always trying to get out into the street. So Michael's gonna go along the fence line. He's gonna get all these tall weeds out and cut down all the way down the fence line. And then we're gonna install a goat panel up. And we're just gonna basically clip it to the existing T-post. We're not gonna add anything extra, just an extra panel to keep the dogs in our yard and out of the street. Come on, Luna. Come on, girl. I know you're the stick relocation princess, but come on. Luna, come. Come on, Zeus. Come on, Luna. And then I'm putting it in my cart and then I'm taking it to the clearing edge and dumping it. Because Michael's on his way back from the storage unit. He's got the fencing supplies and the fencing material. And we're going to be putting the paneling along the fence line so that the dogs can stay in the yard when we're here. Thank <laughs> you. 
in and take it to the next batch. gonna fall into the street. He says it's still alive, but we don't want to take any chances on a bad storm. With all the rock that's in the ground here, we wonder how deep the um, roots can go. So with it being sloped towards the road, we're afraid it's gonna fall into the road while we're gone and cause problems for neighbors. So we're just gonna nip it in the butt. And we put up the goat wire and it was threatening to rain just a few minutes ago. I guess it's all kind of blown off. So we kind of called the day short and we didn't finish out the fence line. But we can finish it out tomorrow morning and it'll be jo job well done. When Robert came to help me rescue my junk, my good junk, as he calls it, uh, from the uh, from the back ravine, since it was filled with water, there's no way for me to carry it across without getting knee high in water. And he watched our video, and he knew that I was wanting to go rescue my junk. <laughs> and uh, so he came with his side by side and was able to. Um, help me carry it, so to speak, back over across. And while he was here, he took a look at our trees and was like, that one's dead. So he was like, I can come help you um, get rid of it. And we said, okay, fine. So, I mean, he just tied the rope to it and gave it a little tug and it over it went. You, it came up root, root ball and all. So now we have another prod to do when we come back. In the meantime, we are closing up shop for the day, getting things ready for the night. And then tomorrow we have a whole nother day of finishing jobs and projects. We got some turkey or geese or something running across the road. So it's Saturday morning and the sun is coming up over the hill. <laughs> and uh, we have started our land chores. Um, we've decided we're going to wait until next time to do the trees, and which is fine. If we can get to it today, later today, that'll be great. But we have other chores and other obligations we've got to take care of in order to get ready to go on the road for Monday. We figured out a solution for the water. So Michael went to go to Lowe's to get what we need so that we can make that happen. I'm just working on... Finishing to rake the inside of this uh, fence line here so that we can be done with this chore. Hopefully by the time he gets done, I have this all done. And then um, 
we can install the fence, the remaining last hundred feet or so of the fence. And already the fence is working to keep the dogs out of the street. I'm working along the fence line, the roadway, pile, making the pile so I can just load them into my cart and go dump it on the other side. The car drove by and they went running to the fence and they stopped at the fence and they didn't get in the way of the car. They didn't chase the car down the street and it's great, it works great. So yeah, so we have found the solution for water. We get these five gallon jugs at Lowe's and they refill it for us for a price, whatever. Anyway, and then they have this. There's a tube that goes inside and it comes up in here to the pump, pump the water out. We have one here in the kitchen and then we have one in the bathroom as well. And that one that we can use for brushing the teeth, washing our hands, drinking water, whatever in the bathroom. And then we have this one here where we can, you know, wash dishes, cook with, drink water, etc. Easy access, just like that. And if I need some hot water, I just can put some right in my kettle. And as far as showers go, we're just gonna shower at the truck stops or at our, at our, at our yard. found this I made the comment about how I would like to get a waterfall man-made waterfall put out here on the property going down the hill and that I would you know make some sort of like um, beautiful natural landscape and then we came out the next time and God provided us a waterfall and then I said I would like to get a bench out here so that I can sit and enjoy the beautiful sounds of the waterfall and the beautiful nature and just think about all that God has provided us while we're here. Then we went hiking and we found a bench. So you ask and you shall receive. I hopefully this summer will be able to refurbish my glider. And I wanna thank Robert. Thank you so much for helping me to rescue it and making it possible to get it and the other treasures of good junk we got. <laughs> Until next time, toodles y'all.